everyone, I'm Yoko, and I decided to do some unboxing videos. At least we'll do this one to start. Uh, it is the 60th anniversary of Sleeping Beauty, and I have these really amazing Q-Posket dolls that I got from Fugitive Toys. Q-Posket dolls, in case you don't know, they are from Japan. You get them in Crane Games there. It's really hard to get, um, and they have them at Hong Kong Disneyland as well. So they're a little bit harder to get stateside. Uh, maybe other parts of the world, you might have to look at eBay or some other third-party retailers, or like I said, Fugitive Toys, which is where I got mine. They're always a great choice. So I have this pink dress Princess Aurora right here. If blue dress Aurora is more your style, I have her too. We also have Maleficent. And in a smaller line, we have Miss Briar Rose as well. So once you open the box up, you'll see it does come in pieces in a plastic bag like that. So then we gotta take them out carefully. Gotta snap them together, super easy. But do be a little bit careful with that neck peg so you don't, don't wanna hurt her just in case, although she feels pretty stable. There we go. That stand holds up, kinda go, hides under the back of her hair so it doesn't really block your view of her. Look at how pretty she is, those big eyes. All that detail in her hair and her dress. Beautiful. I think these are so cute. All right, let's look at the blue dress one. Here's a look at the box for the blue dress Princess Aurora. Again, you'll see there's two options when you get her. How beautiful is blue dress Princess Aurora? If you prefer the blue dress or you like both, I like both personally. Obviously, I can't decide myself between blue or pink. I just think these are so cute. I just, I love the expression on their face. The movement in their dress and their hair, they're beautiful. Uh, I'll have to show you guys some of the other princesses too. I just love these. I should also mention it seems like the stand is just a precaution. She seems pretty sturdy in there without it, so I might try to display one without it just to see how that holds up. I'll let you guys know. But, all right, let's check out Maleficent now. All right, time out. I just checked my footage and found some audio issues after I started opening Maleficent, so I apologize for any awkward con continuity errors from here on out. Uh, tried my best to recreate my scene. This probably drives me crazy more than anybody else, but just had to put it out there. Okay, so Maleficent. <laughs> Maleficent! I'm such a professional. Maleficent, here's her packaging. Um, and there are two versions of her. There is this metallic one, but I stuck with the standard Maleficent. Um, and let me show you. She came in a few different pieces too, um, but here she is already put together. Um, so her head and her hand were three separate pieces that you just snap into place really easily. Beautiful detail again. I love the face, her lips, those evil fingers and fingernails. So much, it's just, they're just such cool figures. So much detail, but still so cute. She comes with a stand as well, nothing that snaps in, but there for the option, just so it looks like the rest of them too, I suppose. And last but certainly not least, I have Briar Rose in the mini Cuposket line. I think the Briar Rose version of Princess Aurora is severely underrated. We don't see a lot of product with her, with this look, with Briar Rose on it at all. Um, so I had to grab this figure, even if it is just the mini line. Um, so cute. So of some other princesses that are available as well. Um, but here she is, look at how cute she is. I love her hair, the outfit, her bare feet are so cute. Of course her little basket of berries. Again, I just, I love this version of her, this design, severely underused, in my humble opinion. So, here she is. Forgot to mention, she comes with that clear stand too. Um, it seems like an optional piece to me, she seems pretty good on there, but I won't force it right now. I enjoy her the way she is. So here's a look at my Sleeping Beauty Cuposket figures. Once again, thank you to Fugitive Toys for sending me these. They're so pretty. Go check them out. The best advice I can give you, check out that hashtag on Instagram for Cuposket to see all the different variations and versions and other characters they have. Um, beyond Disney too, they're all so cute and I love them a lot and I think my collection's gonna grow pretty quick here so check out my blog for more details and photos of these beautiful figures and maybe I'll do one more unboxing video soon with my other Cuposket figures that I have. So thank you for watching, let me know what you think and we'll catch you next time.